546 plus 378 plus 981. 1905. Very good. <laughs> okay. Another one. Um, 794 plus 566 plus 325. 1685. Good job. You're very good at this. Okay, well, Jordan, let me, I'm going to ask you some questions now. Um, he, yeah, he takes an abacus class, and he learns how to add and subtract and, and different mathematical functions on an abacus. And then, because he's done it so much and spent so much time doing it, he can just imagine the abacus in his mind, and that's what he's doing when he moves his hands. So, can you think of any way? I'm just curious as to what someone your age, with the things that you have to do in math class and standardized tests, how this might have affected you? Had you had the exposure to that as a child? Would, I probably would not need a calculator as much, because now I, I definitely can't add together these numbers off the top of my head, but now. I can add like little numbers, but now that I've used calculators, it's definitely been harder to add numbers because I've been so used to calculators. But with standardized testing, if I would have learned how to use an abacus, it would have been a lot easier. I would have been able to get my answers faster because just doing it in your head, you won't have to stop and take the time to get a calculator, then try and do it so you have more time to answer more questions. So it would have definitely helped me, I guess. I wish my parents put me in a class like that. 852 plus 423 plus 752 plus 732 plus 611 plus 962 3735 yeah wow <laughs> my gosh 699 plus 753 plus 203 plus 100 plus 456 plus 750 <laughs> So, Janine, let me ask you some questions. Yeah. Uh, Winston's able to do this because he studied the abacus. He used an abacus for a while. And once you remove the abacus, you're able to imagine the numbers and see them in the beads. Yeah. And so he can add and subtract and do all these mathematical um, equations in his, in, mentally. Yeah. And so I would love to get your perspective on how something like that might have benefited you, given where you are now in high school, the amount of homework you have, standardized yeah. testing, all that, how that might have helped you. For math, all through the years you have to use adding like and you have to be really quick at it and I think this would benefit so much. Like you use it every day. So yeah. I think it you get through math and work so much quicker. So yeah. And what about your standardized tests? Yeah, that too, because they're timed, so it's really important that you get through them fast and if you can do that you can check over more and you can make sure you get them all right. So four hundred and seventy eight plus 654, plus 965, plus 563, plus 785 equals? 3445. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and so another one is 147, plus 569, plus 365, plus 256, plus 456, plus 874 equals? 2667. That's right. This would definitely benefit um, on standardized testing because, um, or any sort of test that where you have a time limit because you wouldn't have to, you'd be able to do things in your head and it would cut off so much time instead of uh, having to take out a pencil and paper or just the calculator. Or just in class, just in problems, if the teacher ever like asks a problem or asks a question, you could like be the first one to answer and it would just make more complicated problems easier just because you'd be able to do the algorithms faster. That's really impressive. <laughs> 874 plus 563 plus 869 plus 523 plus 236 plus 536. 3601. Yep. Here we go, ready? Are you ready? Five plus six plus 
6 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 6 plus 5 plus 8 plus 9. 87. <laughs> <laughs> Go for longer. I, I get through like the first three numbers. I don't even try. I forgot. That's my brain. Okay, ready? 7 plus 8 plus 5 plus 6 plus 9 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 9. 106. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 87 plus 96 plus 36 plus 56 plus 85 plus 21 plus 14. 395. Yep. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, ready? 985 plus 658 plus 963 plus 523. 3129. Yep. <laughs> I wish I could do it. I wish I could do it because I think I spend a lot of time with the using or, or even when I'm doing small math problems and I write up to the side of my paper and it takes extra time. Yeah. Yeah. Attention. So if I see a problem, I'd be able to just do it in my head. That'd be so much easier and I think it would really help because I'd be able to be more accurate at what I do. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I think it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of times I feel, even when we go up to the board and I feel yeah. like I can't do a problem and then I'm going to be able to go up there and just... Even if you're right, you still second guess yourself yeah. just because like, you know, it's in me because you're used to using calculators or writing it on a paper. But yeah. yeah, and even when I'm in the stores and calculating percents and different things like that, you can just do it so much faster because I know it takes you yeah. forever. Like tips that yeah. 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 <laughs> be able to impress, you know, impress people. <laughs> <laughs> Five, eight, six, three, nine, seven, four, one, five, eight, six, two, four, six, three, seven, eight, five, nine, six, two, four, seven. One, two, five. Yeah. Whoa. That's right. That was something. That was a good one.